Hello Twin Flames, welcome to my channel and welcome to your daily energy check-in. We'll dive just right into the reading. Today, uh, I think I've shared enough information about the sweepstakes. If you haven't heard about it yet, there is a chance to win a free personal reading with me. All you have to do is be subscribed to at least one of my channels, Mindful Twin Flame, this one, or Mindful uh, Bamboo, my other channel and leave five comments in total uh, across different videos and you'll be entered automatically don't need to do anything else that account uh, that was leaving comments will be entered into a sweepstake and next weekend i will announce the winners so you have a little bit well let's say a week you have roughly a week to complete this official end date is october 31st to do this uh, but I will eventually give you an extra day because uh, I don't plan to announce the winners until the actual weekend, November 2nd, 3rd. Alrighty, so uh, I will do another reading with the archetypes messages at first, uh, and then we'll go into tarot. I've got the good tarot, the absolute tarot today, so we'll rock it. And I've got my flamingos to cheer people on if you needed anything to cheer you on today i also brought my special uh candle i will post at some point um their the instagram account of the guys i think it's called chantilly candles they're they're based in new york area and uh you know every holiday season they come out into bryant park they have a uh, a kiosk there where they sell the candles there well i mean everybody says their candles are hand made these days right so you can't surprise anybody with that but look at the design and i mean of course like this doesn't give them justice but still this is cinnamon and apple which has actual pieces of cinnamon and apple in it and it's gel it's kind of a like gel based but it's got this beautiful design it smells great it lasts a long time um they also sell refills so for example and because only the external part actually burns out and once it's burned out it will leave like this space and the refill basically is that space filled with gel and of course with the um the new oh my god i'm losing my words whatever it's called like the actual um piece of rope that you light up Right, so you just put it in and you can keep your design, you know, you don't have to buy any candle. They have beautiful designs. Some are Christmas based, uh, some are very flowery, but they're like really, really gorgeous. Like seashells, a forest, like all kinds of stuff. And I mean, they come up with new designs all the time. So who knows what they're gonna do this season. I think it already starts this Friday. It's crazy, you know, like for those in the US, like holiday seasons, it seems like it starts earlier and earlier every year. And I always say that about Halloween, but I mean, seriously. It's two months till Christmas, people. <laughs> um, but on the other hand, it's like, ooh, it's only two months till Christmas. <laughs> Whichever way you want to look at it. Anyways, uh, if you're following me on Instagram, you probably saw a gazillion of my pictures in the botanical garden with the, uh, the fall colors. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. For those of you who don't follow me on Instagram, you'll still you still see some of those pictures because I definitely plan to use them in my posts and my newsletters everywhere, anywhere. You know, it's like my free rate, free source of uh, high res pictures. Some of them with me in them <laughs> that I can use. So, divine feminines, your message for today is the hunter number nine. Very interesting card. I think I actually put it out in one of my readings already, but I'll give you just at least uh, an idea, a little bit better idea, because I'm sure some of you already are building associations with the hunter energy. The hunter hunts. They are on a precise mission with an aim. To return home empty-handed would be to fail, which is not an option in the hunter's eye. This archetype will journey far and wide, seeking the prize that calls to its heart or stomach. Tales of bravery and, and feats of strength often result, creating a life full of adventure. The hunter is skillful, quick, decisive, and result-oriented. 
like the great hunting goddess Artemis, who carries her quiver upon her back, the hunter typically has a weapon of choice. When this card appears, it is critical that you ask three questions. What am I hunting? Why am I hunting it? Is the weapon I hold so tightly in my grip truly needed for the task at hand? What are you after? To me, it's... Um, if we think about tarot, probably the closest association is the Emperor card, actually. For masculines, we have number 33, the Mounting. We already saw that card, actually, specifically for Divine Masculines. So I'm not going to read the article, but I will just remind you guys that, yeah, it's... Um, it's obviously about this obstacle, about a challenge, about feeling like you're uh, swimming upstream or you're climbing with like, like a steep mountain or even up a cliff. Uh, so there is a, a lot of that, but it's also a time to recognize how far you've come, what has already been done. And that a lot of it is not really about the <clears throat> destination of the peak. It's about how you handle the journey. And that can be, I, I can spend an hour just unpacking that uh, statement. But if you think about it, it will be, you know, so many different things. The positives, the negatives, all kinds of experiences that you had on the way. And sometimes, like halfway through, you realize you don't even want that mountain anymore. Like the life that awaits you there, or the reward, is not something you're interested in or not anymore, right? That could be a real story as well. Okay, let's get some clarifiers. By the way, bottom of the deck, five of water. We've been seeing this card quite a lot. Um, yeah. Some kind of illusion is falling away. That's what I'm getting actually with that energy today. That, you know, we had so much faith and hope in something and we truly thought that it was gonna be it was gonna make us happy, it was gonna be really beneficial, which is generally important in our life. And now we can see that that wasn't really the case. You know, lots of planning went in and you know, like maybe you had like all this like speaking of pentacles, like that is gonna make you rich, that is gonna make you very successful. And then all you have to pick up is like this one pentacle out of all of them. So maybe for some even less than what you've invested, right? Like the payout is not even close to what you were looking for. Um, feminines, you have Page of Water clarified by Seven of Cups. So basically both of the cards are, are cups. Uh, and what I would say is there is a very thin line between like being free with all the choices in the world and being confused because of all the choices in the world right and water sometimes can feel like that you know the water energy right right that's free flow so you kind of like freely just go in with it but at the same time it's like uh i don't have that structure I don't have that clarity of what exactly am i doing or where is it getting me right and first of all our brain likes structure and clarity but also, you know, the, the clarity is need like clarity, is, the structure is needed in life to ground the energies, to understand better where are we right now, where are we going, right? Of course, there should be balance between the two, uh, but right now you may be feeling a little bit, and there is a child here in this deck, a little bit like, especially because it's a girl when talking about divine feminine uh, energy, you may feel a little lost, you know, like maybe when you're a little child and you are, I don't know, you're at the mall with your parents and then suddenly you lose them. Maybe just for a couple of minutes. But those couple of minutes, like your heart starts racing, starts racing because you're like, oh my God, I'm lost. I don't know what to do. This is all scary. All these people, maybe somebody even pushing you or just generally they're minding their business. Somebody may be screaming and you're like, oh my God, what do I do now? Right? Like there is that moment of confusion that's happening right now. And, um, you know, use your discernment in terms of, and we'll get more info on the energy, of course, in terms of whether to surrender and just go with the flow, see where it takes you, right? Work on your fear, 
uh, to ease the anxiety or you would actually want to be more like a hunter vibe here that you know knows what they need what they want why they're going for it and they're going for it for wow for the masculines we see high priestess clarified by two of cups and i mean we keep seeing divine feminine energy for the masculines like pretty much every single reading at least the last months maybe even longer it's incredible and we are approaching 11 portal by the way so it does usually open up a bigger opportunity for unions to come together for masculines to basically come home you know to realize that this the feminine and the union with the feminine is like the secret sauce to their happiness in every aspect of their life that's you know opening up secrets for those who didn't know <laughs> and it's not an exaggeration and it's not infatuation or delusion it's true for the masculine energy that's essentially what it is again topic for another day to un to unpack that topic but you know this is that process of them realizing of them embracing that feminine energy but you know they've been working a lot on um integrating the internal divine feminine now they're ready to embrace the role of the external feminine in their life they are ready to see how this companionship this union is truly valuable in their life right how much depth of wisdom it brings and it helps them in seemingly more masculine reality you know like more structured more decisive more logical right where maybe you're thinking of all oh, the feminine energy could actually pull me away from my uh, focus there but they can see now how when it's blended in uh, how much more opportunity and creativity is possible additional question for today the fool clarified by knight of cups I like the colors actually and that uh, orange that speaks to me of sacral chakra in both so there is like this um fountain of the creative energy that's bursting right now right and it's given a lot of freedom and um want of expression to the twin flames what does it mean for the feminines we have seven of fire clarified by three of ones so both fiery energies right it's like I want to show what 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 I'm like, right? Like this seven of ones to me in this deck is about like there's this unicorn here, right? Like I'm unique, and I want to show this to the world. And it's important to also be set an intention for that, not just like, yeah, it would be nice to show myself to the world. The world just doesn't know, uh, you know, how much I have to give or how unique my journey has been. Hmm no go from wishful thinking to actually taking steps towards showing yourself to the world and we are fast approaching new moon it's happening next week and of course because it's also on the ver like happening i think first of november like basically new months as well i'll be doing my horoscopes uh so there's gonna be a you'll have a lot of information and more guidance specifically more specific to your sign to your story uh, and don't hesitate to order it personal, of course. But new moon will be a wonderful time to set that intention in a practical way, right? Because when I'm saying I want to show myself to the world, that's a good start for the intention, but it's still too abstract and high level. The intention, one aspect of intention is about being more specific. Another one, of course, is that you are taking steps towards it. You're not just like dreaming and wishing on a star and just hoping that everything's gonna work out uh for masculines we see queen of earth clarified by strengths this is more yellowy energy so this to me is also solar plexus that comes in especially with the strengths here right so masculines are embracing wisdom uh, wisdom embracing courage to be able to show up as that partner right to see their feminine as a life partner in a practical way, right? So the way that this expression happens, because we're also in the expression we had Knight of Cups, right? Is that masculines are now ready to explore this creative uh, potential with the feminine. And that could mean a lot of things. 
So don't be surprised for the feminine to watch and if the masculine calls you up and wants your help in, I don't know, redecorating one of the rooms in the house or they're inviting you to a, I don't know, painting workshop or something right or to a karaoke night where the both of you can sing like and i mean i'm giving you more obvious choices for like how you two can be creative together but uh the masculine feels that need for this kind of collaboration in a creative space right and of course it can be anything i mean you could be making dinner together and that can also be the way to express creativity and to collaborate in that space all right how the feminine see the connection at this time? Ten of water, king of cups. Yeah, lots of love, but like this almost motherly love. But like not in a creepy way, but you know, like this nurturing love. This um, when we want to give somebody a hug, you know. It's not in a romantic way so much as it is in a loving way, like to another human being that I feel close to. And also seeing that the masculine has the capacity to reciprocate and to at least to receive that love which is very important for them to recognize it oh and speaking of the emperor we started with that ace of fire and the emperor <laughs> the masculines are really on fire right now for their feminine on all the levels all the levels it's like the feminine energy around them helps them feel more masculine and like more subtle in their more confident in their masculine energy again on different levels Take it how it resonates for you. There's definitely physical drive here, passion, uh, charge. Uh, there is also the just general decisiveness and like, I need to have a, like, I need to lead this connection forward. I can't just be waiting around, just, you know, waiting out for things to work out or for the feminine to finally leave me because I'm not really worthy or, or something else, right? It's like, the masculines are now feeling the urge to take charge in the relationship in a good way in terms of like ex expressing themselves which is what we already saw and taking it somewhere you know making it real making it serious taking it to the next level there's a lot of that readiness and decisiveness in the energy i hope this was good for you guys i'm gonna leave it here thank you so much for joining me today I love you all. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel. And until next time.